Chapter 51 Jeremiah 51, 1-64 Continuation of the prophecy against Babylon begun in the 50th chapter. 1. In the midst of them that rise. Against me, literally, in the heart of them. Compare Psalms 46, 2, the midst of the sea, margin, Ezekiel 27, 4, the heart of the seas, margin, Matthew 12, 40, in the center of the Chaldeans. Against me, because they persecute my people. The Kabbalistic mode of interpreting Hebrew words, by taking the letters in the inverse order of the alphabet, the last letter representing the first, and so on, Jeremiah 25, 26, would give the very word Chaldeans here, but the mystical method cannot be intended, as Babylon is plainly so called in the immediately preceding parallel clause. Wind, God needs not warlike weapons to destroy his foes, a wind or blast is sufficient, though, no doubt, the wind here is the invading host of Meds and Persians, Jeremiah 4, 11, 2 Kings 19, 7, 2. Fanners, see on Jeremiah 15, 7. The fanners separate the wheat from the chaff, so God's judgments shall sweep away guilty Babylon as chaff, Psalms 1, 4, 3. Against him that bendeth, namely, the bow, that is, the Babylonian archer. Let the archer bend, that is, the Persian archer, Jeremiah 50, 4. The Chaldean version and Jerome, by changing the vowel points, read, Let not him, the Babylonian, who bendeth his bow bend it. But the close of the verse is addressed to the Median invaders, therefore it is more likely that the first part of the verse is addressed to them, as in English version, not to the Babylonians, to warn them against resistance as vain, as in the Chaldean version. The word bend is thrice repeated, against him that bendeth let him that bendeth bend to imply the utmost straining of the bow. 4. See on Jeremiah 49, 26, Jeremiah 50, 30, Jeremiah 50, 37. 5. Forsaken, as a widow, Hebrew. Israel is not severed from her husband, Jehovah, Isaiah 54, 5-7, by a perpetual divorce. Though. Sin. Though the land of Israel has been filled with sin, that is, with the punishment of their sin, devastation. But, as the Hebrew means for, or and therefore, not though, translate, and therefore there, the Chaldeans, land has been filled with, the penal consequences of, their sin, Grotius. 6. Warning to the Israelite captives to flee from Babylon, lest they should be involved in the punishment of her iniquity so as to spiritual Babylon and her captives, Revelation 18, 4, 7. Babylon is compared to a cup, because she was the vessel in the hand of God, to make drunken with his vengeance the other peoples, Jeremiah 13, 12, 25, 15, 16. Compare as to spiritual Babylon, Revelation 14, 8, 17, 4. The cup is termed golden, to express the splendor and opulence of Babylon, whence also in the image seen by Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel 2, 38, the head representing Babylon is of gold, compare Isaiah 14, 4, 8, 9, her friends and confederates, who behold her fall, are invited to her aid, they reply, her case is incurable, and that they must leave her to her fate, Isaiah 21, 9, Revelation 14, 8, 18, 2, 9. Balm, Jeremiah 8, 22, 46, 11, 9. We would have healed we attempted to heal. Her judgment, her crimes provoking God's judgments, Grotius. Reacheth unto heaven, Genesis 18, 21, Jonah 1, 2, Revelation 18, 5. Even the heathen nations perceived that her awful fall must be God's judgment for her crying sins, Psalms 9, 16, 64, 9, 10. Next after the speech of the confederates of Babylon, 
comes that of the Jews celebrating with thanksgivings the promise-keeping faithfulness of their covenant God. Brought forth, etc. Psalms 37, 6. Our righteousness, not the Jews' merits, but God's faithfulness to himself and to his covenant, which constituted the righteousness of his people, that is, their justification in their controversy with Babylon, the cruel enemy of God and his people. Compare Jeremiah 23, 6, The Lord our righteousness, Micah 7, 9. Their righteousness is his righteousness. Declare in Zion, Psalms 102, 13-21. 11. Make bright, literally, pure. Polish and sharpen. Gather, literally, fill, that is, gather in full number, so that none be wanting. So, gave in full tale. 1 Samuel 18, 27. Jesnius, not so well, translates, fill with your bodies the shields, compare so 4, 4. He means to tell the Babylonians, make what preparations you will, all will be in vain, compare Jeremiah 46, 3 to 6. Kings of Meds, he names the Meds rather than the Persians, because Darius, or Syak says, was above Cyrus in power and the greatness of his kingdom. Temple, Jeremiah 50, 28. 12. With all your efforts, your city shall be taken. Standard, to summon the defenders together to any point threatened by the besiegers. 13. Waters, Jeremiah 51, 32, 36. See on Isaiah 21, 1. The Euphrates surrounded the city and, being divided into many channels, formed islands. Compare as to spiritual Babylon waters, that is, many peoples, Revelation 17, 1, 15. A large lake also was near Babylon. Measure, literally, cubit, which was the most common measure, and therefore is used for a measure in general. The time for putting a limit to thy covetousness, Jesnius. There is no and in the Hebrew, translate, thine end, the retribution for thy covetousness, Grotius. More Eura takes the image to be from weaving, the cubit where thou art to be cut off, for the web is cut off, when the required number of cubits is completed, Isaiah 38, 12, 14. By himself, literally, by his soul, 2 Samuel 15, 21, Hebrews 6, 13. Phil. With caterpillars, locusts, Nuhum 3, 15. Numerous as are the citizens of Babylon, the invaders shall be more numerous. 15 to 19. Repeated from Jeremiah 10, 12 to 16, except that Israel is not in the Hebrew of Jeremiah 51, 19, which ought, therefore, to be translated, he is the former of all things, and, therefore, of the rod of his inheritance, that is, of the nation peculiarly his own. In Jeremiah 10, 1 to 25 the contrast is between the idols and God, here it is between the power of populous Babylon and that of God, thou dwellest upon many waters, Jeremiah 51, 13, but God can, by merely uttering his voice, create many waters, Jeremiah 51, 16. The earth, in its material aspect, is the result of his power, the world, viewed in its orderly system, is the result of his wisdom, etc. Jeremiah 51, 15. Such an almighty being can be at no loss for resources to effect his purpose against Babylon. 20. See on Jeremiah 50, 23. Breaking pieces refers to the hammer there, compare Nahum 2, 1, margin. The club also was often used by ancient warriors. 22. Old and young. 2 Chronicles 36, 17. 24. The detail of particulars, Jeremiah 51, 20-23, is in order to express the indiscriminate slaughters perpetrated by Babylon on Zion, which, in just retribution, are all to befall her in turn, Jeremiah 50, 15, 29. In your sight, addressed to the Jews. 25 destroying mountain, called so, not from its position, for it lay low, 
Jeremiah 51, 13, Genesis 11, 2, 9, but from its eminence above other nations, many of which it had destroyed, also, because of its lofty palaces, towers, hanging gardens resting on arches, and walls, fifty royal cubits broad and two hundred high. Roll thee down from the rocks, that is, from thy rock, like fortifications and walls. Burnt Mountain, Revelation 8, 8. A volcano, which, after having spent itself in pouring its destroying lava on all the country around, falls into the vacuum and becomes extinct, the surrounding rocks alone marking where the crater had been. Such was the appearance of Babylon after its destruction, and as the pumice stones of the volcano are left in their place, being unfit for building, so Babylon should never rise from its ruins. 26. Corner. Stone. Foundations. The cornerstone was the most important one in the building, the foundation stones came next in importance, Ephesians 2, 20. So the sense is, even as there shall be no stones useful for building left of thee, so no leading prince, or governors, shall come forth from thy inhabitants. 27. Jeremiah 50, 29. As in Jeremiah 51, 12 the Babylonians were told to set up the standard, so here her foes are told to do so. The latter, to good purpose, the former, in vain. Ararat, Upper or Major Armenia, the regions about Mount Ararat. Mini, Lower or Lesser Armenia. Rawlinson says that Van was the capital of Mini. It was conquered by Tetarasa, the general of Tatemba II, the Assyrian king whose wars are recorded on the Black Obelisk now in the British Museum. Ashkenaz, a descendant of Japheth, Genesis 10, 3, who gave his name to the sea now called the Black Sea, the region bordering on it is probably here meant, namely, Asia Minor, including places named Ascania in Phrygia and Bithynia. Cyrus had subdued Asia Minor and the neighboring regions, and from these he drew levies in proceeding against Babylon. Rough caterpillars, the horsemen in multitude, and in appearance bristling with javelins and with crests, resemble rough caterpillars, or locusts of the hairy crested kind. Nuhum 3, 15. 28. Kings of Meds, Jeremiah 51, 11. The satraps and tributary kings under Darius, or Syaxes. His dominion, the king of Media's dominion. 29. Land shall tremble. Every purpose of Lord shall be performed elegant antithesis between the trembling of the land or earth, and the stability of every purpose of the Lord, compare Psalms 46, 1 to 3. 30. Forborn to fight, for the city was not taken by force of arms, but by stratagem, according to the counsel given to Cyrus by two eunuchs of Belshazzar who deserted. Remained in holds, not daring to go forth to fight, many, with Nabonidas, withdrew to the fortified city Borsippa. 31. See on Jeremiah 50, 24. One post, one courier after another shall announce the capture of the city. The couriers dispatched from the walls, where Cyrus enters, shall meet those sent by the king. Their confused running to and fro would result from the sudden panic at the entrance of Cyrus into the city, which he had so long besieged ineffectually, the Babylonians had laughed at his attempts and were feasting at the time without fear. Taken at one end, which was not known for a long time to the king and his courtiers feasting in the middle of the city, so great was its extent that, when the city was already three days in the enemy's hands, the fact was not known in some parts of the city, Aristotle, Politics, 3.2. 32. Passages are stopped. The guarded fords of the Euphrates are occupied by the enemy, see on Jeremiah 50, 38. Reads. Burned, literally, the marsh. After draining off the river, Cyrus burned the stockade of dense tree, like reeds on its banks forming the outworks of the city's fortifications. The burning of these would give the appearance of the Marshur River itself being on fire. 33. Like a threshing floor, 
it is time to thresh her, rather, like a threshing floor at the time of threshing, or at the time when it is trodden. The treading, or threshing, here put before the harvest, out of the natural order, because the prominent thought is the treading down or destruction of Babylon. In the east the treading out of the corn took place only at harvest time. Babylon is like a threshing floor not trodden for a long time, but the time of harvest, when her citizens shall be trodden underfoot, shall come, Calvin. Like a threshing floor full of corn, so is Babylon now full of riches, but the time of harvest shall come, when all her prosperity shall be cut off, Ludovicus Deuteronomy Dear. Grotius distinguishes the harvest from the threshing. The former is the slaying of her citizens, the latter the pillaging and destruction of the city, compared Joel 3, 13, Revelation 14, 15, 18. 34. Me, Zion speaks. Her groans are what bring down retribution in kind on Babylon, Jeremiah 50, 17, Psalms 102, 13, 17, 20. Empty vessel, he has drained me out. Dragon, the serpent often swallows its prey whole, or a sea monster, Grotius. Filled his belly? Cast me out, like a beast, which, having filled himself to satiety, casts out the rest, Calvin. After filling all his storehouses with my goods, he has cast me out of this land, Grotius. 35. My flesh, which Nebuchadnezzar hath devoured, Jeremiah 51, 34. Zion thus calls her kinsmen, Romans 11, 14, slain throughout the country or carried captives to Babylon, Grotius. Or, as my blood follows, it and my flesh constitute the whole man, Zion, in its totality, its citizens and all its substance, have been a prey to Babylon's violence, Psalms 137, 8. 36. Plead. Cause, Jeremiah 50, 34. See, the Euphrates, Jeremiah 51, 13, Jeremiah 50, 38. Compare Isaiah 19, 5, C, that is, the Nile, Isaiah 21, 1. 37. Jeremiah 50, 26, 39. Revelation 18, 2. 38, 39. The capture of Babylon was effected on the night of a festival in honor of its idols. Roar. Yell, the Babylonians were shouting in drunken revelry, compare Daniel 5, 4. 39. In their heat I will make their feasts, in the midst of their being heated with wine, I will give them their potions, a very different cup to drink but one which is their due, the wine cup of my stupefying wrath, Jeremiah 25, 15, 49, 12, Isaiah 51, 17, Lamentations 4, 21. Rejoice, and sleep, perpetual, etc. That they may exult, and in the midst of their jubilant exultation sleep the sleep of death, Jeremiah 51, 57, Isaiah 21, 4, 5. 41. Sheshach, Babylon, compare note, see Jeremiah 25, 26, called so from the goddess Shuk, to whom a five days festival was kept, during which, as in the Roman Saturnalia, the most unbridled licentiousness was permitted, slaves ruled their masters, and in every house one called Zogan, arrayed in a royal garment, was chosen to rule all the rest. He calls Babylon Sheshach, to imply that it was during this feast the city was taken, Scaliger. 42. The sea, the host of Median invaders. The image, compare Jeremiah 47, 2, Isaiah 8, 7, 8, is appropriately taken from the Euphrates, which, overflowing in spring, is like a sea near Babylon, Jeremiah 51, 13, 32, 36. 43. Her cities, the cities, her dependencies. So, Jerusalem and the cities thereof, Jeremiah 34, 1. Or, the cities are the inner and outer cities, the two parts into which Babylon was divided by the Euphrates, Grotius. 
44. Bell. Swallowed, in allusion to the many sacrifices to the idol which its priests pretended it swallowed at night, or rather, the precious gifts taken from other nations and offered to it, which it is said to have swallowed, compare devoured, swallowed, Jeremiah 51, 34, Jeremiah 50, 17, which it should have to disgorge, compare Jeremiah 51, 13, Jeremiah 50, 37. Of these gifts were the vessels of Jehovah's temple in Jerusalem, 2 Chronicles 36, 7, Daniel 1, 2. The restoration of these, as aforetold here, is recorded in Ezra 1, 7-11. Flow, as a river, fitly depicting the influx of pilgrims of all nations to the idol. 45, 46. See on Jeremiah 51, 6. 46. And, lest, compare, for the same ellipsis, Genesis 3, 22, Exodus 13, 17, Deuteronomy 8, 12. And in order that your heart may not faint at their, first, rumor, of war, I will give you some intimation of the time. In the first year there shall come a rumor that Cyrus is preparing for war against Babylon. After that, in another year, shall come a rumor, namely, that Cyrus is approaching, and has already entered Assyria. Then is your time to go out, Jeremiah 51, 45. Babylon was taken the following or third year of Belshazzar's reign, Grotius. Violence in the land, of Babylon, Psalms 7, 16. Ruler against ruler, or, ruler upon ruler, a continual change of rulers in a short space. Belshazzar and Nabonidus, supplanted by Darius or Cyaxares, who is succeeded by Cyrus. 47. Grotius translates, because then, namely, on the third year, the time shall have come that, etc. Confounded, at seeing their gods powerless to help them. Her slain, in retribution for Israel's slain, Jeremiah 51, 49, who fell by her hand. Grotius translates, her dancers, as in Judges 21, 21, 23, 1 Samuel 18, 6, the same Hebrew word is translated, alluding to the dancing revelry of the festival during which Cyrus took Babylon. 48. Heaven. Earth. Sing for Babylon, Isaiah 14, 7-13, 44, 23, Revelation 18, 20. 49. Caused. To fall, literally, has been for the falling, that is, as Babylon made this its one aim to fill all places with the slain of Israel, so at Babylon shall all the slain of that whole land, not as English version, of all the earth, more Eura. Henderson translates, Babylon also shall fall, ye slain of Israel. Those also of Babylon shall fall, O ye slain of all the earth. But, in the midst of her, Jeremiah 51, 47, plainly answers to at Babylon, Jeremiah 51, 49, English version. 50. Escaped. Sword, namely, of the Meds. So great will be the slaughter that even some of God's people shall be involved in it, as they had deserved. Afar off, though ye are banished far off from where ye used formerly to worship God. Let Jerusalem come into your mind, while in exile remember your temple and city, so as to prefer them to all the rest of the world wherever ye may be, Isaiah 62, 6. 51. The prophet anticipates the Jews' reply, I know you will say in despair, we are confounded, etc. Wherefore, God saith to you, Behold, I will, etc. Jeremiah 51, 52. Calvin. I prefer taking Jeremiah 51, 51 as the prayer which the Jews are directed to offer in exile, Jeremiah 51, 50, let Jerusalem come into your mind, and say in prayer to God, we are confounded. This view is confirmed by Psalms 44, 15, 16, 79, 4, 102, 17 to 20, Isaiah 62, 6, 7, for strangers, the reproach, 
which especially has stung us, came when they taunted us with the fact that they had burned the temple, our peculiar glory, as though our religion was a thing of naught. 52. Wherefore, because of these sighs of the Jews directed to God, Jeremiah 51, 21. I. Judgment upon. Images, in opposition to the Babylonian taunt that Jehovah's religion was a thing of naught, since they had burned his temple, Jeremiah 51, 51, I will show that, though I have thus visited the Jews' neglect of me, yet those gods of Babylon cannot save themselves, much less their votaries, who shall through all her land lie and groan with wounds. 53. We are not to measure God's power by what seems to our perceptions natural or probable. Compare Obadiah 4 as to Edom, Am 9, 2. 55. Great voice, where once was the great din of a mighty city, there shall be the silence of death, Vatablus. Or, the great voice of the revelers, Jeremiah 51, 38, 39, Isaiah 22, 2. Or, the voice of mighty boasting. Calvin, compare Jeremiah 51, 53. Her waves, when her calamities shall cause her to give forth a widely different voice, even such a one as the waves give that lash the shores, Jeremiah 51, 42, Grotius. Or, when is connected thus, the great voice in her, when her waves, etc. Compare Jeremiah 51, 13. Calvin translates, their waves that is, the meds bursting on her as impetuous waves, so Jeremiah 51, 42. But the parallel, a great voice, belongs to her, therefore the wave, like roar of their voice ought also belong to her, compare Jeremiah 51, 54. The great voice of commercial din, boasting, and feasting, is destroyed, but in its stead there is the wave, like roar of her voice in her destruction, Jeremiah 51, 54. 56. Taken, when they were least expecting it, and in such a way that resistance was impossible. 57. Jeremiah 51, 39, Daniel 5, 1, etc. 58. Broad walls, 87 feet broad, Rose and Muller, 50 cubits, Grotius. A chariot of four horses abreast could meet another on it without collision. The walls were 200 cubits high, and 485 stadia, or 60 miles in extent. Gates, 100 in number, of brass, 25 on each of the four sides, the city being square, between the gates were 250 towers. Barossus says triple walls encompassed the outer, and the same number the inner city. Cyrus caused the outer walls to be demolished, taking the extent of the walls to be 365 stadia, as Diodorus states, it is said 200,000 men completed a stadium each day, so that the whole was completed in one year. Labor. In the fire. The event will show that the builders of the walls have labored only for the fire in which they shall be consumed, in the fire answers to the parallel, burned with fire translate, shall have labored in vain, etc. Compare Job 3, 14, built desolate places for themselves, that is, grand places, soon about to be desolate ruins. Jeremiah has in view here Habakkuk 2, 13, 59-64. A special copy of the prophecy prepared by Jeremiah was delivered to Sarah, to console the Jews in their Babylonian exile though he was to throw it into the Euphrates, a symbol of Babylon's fate, no doubt he retained the substance in memory, so as to be able orally to communicate it to his countrymen. Went with Zedekiah, rather, in behalf of Zedekiah, sent by Zedekiah to appease Nebuchadnezzar's anger at his revolt, Calvin. Fourth year, so that Jeremiah's prediction of Babylon's downfall was thus solemnly written and sealed by a symbolical action, six whole years before the capture of Jerusalem by the Babylonians. Quiet Prince, compare 1 Chronicles 22, 9, A Man of Rest. Sarah was not one of the courtiers hostile to God's prophets, but quiet and docile, ready to execute Jeremiah's commission.
notwithstanding the risk attending it. Glacius translates, Prince of Manusia, compare 1 Chronicles 2, 52, margin. Moira translates, Commander of the Caravan, on whom it devolved to appoint the resting place for the night. English version suits the context best. 61. Read, not in public, for the Chaldeans would not have understood Hebrew, but in private, as is to be inferred from his addressing himself altogether to God, Jeremiah 51, 62, Calvin. 62. O Lord, Thou, and not merely Jeremiah or any man is the author of this prophecy, I therefore here in thy presence embrace as true all that I read. 63. Bind a stone, etc. Revelation 18, 21. So the Fushins in leaving their country, when about to found Marseille, threw lead into the sea, binding themselves not to return till the lead should swim. 64. They shall be weary, the Babylonians shall be worn out, so as not to be able to recover their strength. Thus far. Jeremiah, hence it is to be inferred that the last chapter is not included in Jeremiah's writings but was added by some inspired man, mainly at 2 Kings 24, 18 25, 30 to explain and confirm what precedes, Calvin. Explain and confirm what precedes, Calvin. Explain and confirm what 